Welcome back to La Full of Zest. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing yet another Pilates class. The difference is that we are going to be doing some new and exciting movements. We are going to be building towards more intermediate type movements, but we are going to warm you up and get you nice and activated before we progress into those movements. So I hope you are ready. We are going to be starting in the center of our mats in a seated position. In this position, I want you to place your ankles slightly larger than the shoulder width apart, lengthening through that spine, extending and opening that chest, sucking in that belly. You're going to place your hands in front of you, palms facing each other. You're going to inhale and on the exhale, slowly rolling chin, then head and neck down towards your toes. I want your toes pointing up towards the ceiling and you're going to reach and inhale, stacking that vertebra back up and inhale and exhale reaching down as you're reaching i really want you to focus on pushing the back of those knees into the ground keeping those toes pointing towards the ceiling we're going to inhale but we are going to exhale extend and reach a little bit further and inhale exhale slowly rolling and stacking that vertebra. We're going to do one more inhale and exhale slowly, rolling forward and extend. And I really want you to reach as far as you can go. Now in this position, you're going to point those toes towards the wall in front of you. You're going to inhale and on the exhale, reaching a little bit further and inhale, pushing those knees into the ground and exhale, reach a little bit further while pointing those toes towards the ceiling. Try and emphasize that point towards your nose. Inhale, Exhale and reach. Inhale, exhale, slowly rolling back up. And we're slowly going to tuck in this right foot in towards your groin. I'm just going to turn around to face you. And from here, we're slowly going to place the left hand just behind the back of our, or next to our upper thigh. And we're going to take the right hand, reaching over and across allowing that hand to fall towards that toe, allowing a stretch in that hamstring. I want you to just fall into that leg. Inhale, back to starting point. And we're going to do two more of these. And exhale, reach. And reaching, reaching, reaching. Inhale, back to starting point. I want you to feel stretched down that hamstring and down the side of this body. And reach and slowly lifting back up and turning to the other side, tucking in that left foot into that groin and placing that right hand next to that thigh and you're slowly going to reach that left hand over towards that toe. And as you're doing it, I want you to really focus on reaching down towards that toe. Inhale back to starting point. And exhale, reaching over. And inhale back to starting point. Keep going. This is really important, this mobility, this warm up before our sequences to make sure that you're not feeling restricted and have a limited range of motion when doing our exercises. From here, we are slowly going to straighten those legs. Toes pointing the ceiling. You're going to slowly do one more inhale. And on the exhale, you're going to reach forward, pointing those toes towards your nose, allowing a stretch down that calf. I want you to hold and feel that burn. Emphasize that toe point. Inhale and exhale, point those toes and roll back up and rolling all the way down to la in the center of your mat, extending arms overhead and reaching, stretching yourself out as much as you can. Just make sure that you're comfortably in the center of that mat. We are going to start with our reverse pelvic curls. You're going to inhale and on the exhale, slowly roll that pelvis up towards the ceiling, one vertebra at a time. Remember those cues. Remember the importance of maintaining and controlling that pelvis as you're lifting up. you squeezing those glutes and we're just going to hold here for 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and slowly rolling back down, back to neutral. Keep going, everyone. You should be getting a nice burn into those glutes. Inhale and exhale, slowly rolling back up, core tight, sucking in that pelvic floor. And in this position, once those hips are in the air, just remember to make sure that that pubic bone is tucked in and pulled towards your chin, that you're squeezing those glutes. You're going to inhale and exhale, slowly extend right leg up into tabletop and then extending those toes up towards the ceiling. Please make sure that you maintaining a good activation into those glutes. You're going to point those toes as you lower and point them towards your nose as you lift. Keeping that core tight, I want you to emphasize and really take note of that stretch in that hamstring of your right leg. There's reason why we're doing this particular movement. We're building towards something, so please make sure you're doing it properly. Let's do two more. And one. And two, we're gonna go back into that tabletop position and we're going to inhale and exhale, toe tap, inhale up. That's one. And two, three, and four, and five. Keep going, core tight, keeping that positioning, hips aligned, and seven. And last little push, we're going to extend that leg and hold. Aligning those knees for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to tabletop, dropping that leg down, lifting left leg into tabletop, extending that leg up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lowering that leg and lifting it back up. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. Keep going, trying to get a nice, Deep stretch into that hamstring. Let's do four more. That's one, two. Remember, there's reason behind these movements. And back up to tabletop. Inhale and exhale, toe tap. Inhale up, that's one. Core tight, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven. Last one, eight, extending and aligning those knees and holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to tabletop, lowering that leg, lifting those hips to slowly roll that pelvis back to neutral, keeping that core tight. We're inhaling and on the exhale, lifting right leg up, then left leg up into that tabletop position, sucking that belly towards your spine. You're going to interlace your hands behind your head. You're going to inhale and on the exhale, slowly lift head, neck and shoulders off the ground, keeping that position. You're going to inhale and exhale, toe tap. That's one and two. Inhale up, exhale down. Please make sure that your scaps are comfortably off the ground and your neck is supported by your hands and you are using your core to do the work. Let's do two more after this one. And one and two. Keeping that, those legs in tabletop, lifting a little bit higher if you can. You're going to inhale, exhale, rotate towards the right. Slight rotation. As you can see, my elbow is in the periphery of my eyes and I'm just using my core to rotate my opposite hip, my opposite rib to the opposite hip. And let's do four more after this one. Keeping those gaps going down your back. That's two and three and four and slowly rolling back down, arms in a T position, maintaining that tabletop position, you're going to inhale, and on the exhale, slowly drop those knees towards the floor, keeping that shoulder on the ground, and inhale, 
on the exhale use your core to roll your legs back to tabletop and over towards the other side get a nice deep stretch down the side of your body and we're going to lift back up into tabletop right leg down left leg down i hope you're ready for this next one we're going to interlace our hands behind our head again and we are slowly going to lift right leg up then left leg up into tabletop inhale exhale lifting head neck and chest off the ground now what you're going to do is we are going to bring our left elbow towards our right knee while that left leg lowers and extends and inhale center exhale rotate inhale center and rotate please make sure when you're doing this one it's a very slow controlled movement you are really focusing on that stability of that trunk you're making sure that that pelvis is maintained in its position and your scaps are comfortably off the floor but you're not using your shoulders to do the rotation you are using your core to rotate from side to side and as i'm doing this i can see wafty in the back behind the camera really struggling and taking a little bit of a break let's do two more hopefully you can push a little bit harder than he can and back to center rolling head neck and chest back down hanging those knees towards your chest and you're just going to allow that rest and stretch for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one and slowly extending those legs all the way down to the end of the mat you're going to inhale and on the exhale extend both legs up towards the ceiling please make sure that you are keeping a core activation to lift those hips up you're slowly going to inhale and on the exhale lift head neck and chest off the ground we're going to place your hands behind your right knee and as you lower that left knee you're pulsing that right knee up i want you pointing your toes towards the ceiling allowing a hamstring stretch and exhale rotate inhale rotate keeping that deep stretch and lengthening of those legs and one more on each side and slowly lifting those legs to the ceiling rolling head neck and chest back down right leg down left leg down arms in a t position we're just going to rock our ankles and knees from side to side and let's do one more on each side from here we are slowly going to place our hands behind us. I want your fingers facing the wall in front of you. Remember this one. You can do modification for those of you who struggle. The modification is lifting your hips up off the ground while your knees are bent in this position. The rest of us who do manage, you can keep your legs straight. And if you do struggle with wrist pain, remember you can just rest on that table if you are struggling with that pain or inability to rotate those shoulders in the direction that we want them we're going to inhale and on the exhale we're lifting our hips off the ground core nice and tight that pelvis is tilted you're going to inhale and on the exhale lifting right leg into tabletop and we're going to hold for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 three two one lowering right leg lifting left leg and holding for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one slowly lowering back down we're going to extend our arms in front of us and slowly pointing toes towards the wall in front of us we're going to roll back down using our core so that we are comfortably seated back on the floor we're going to inhale and on the exhale 
Left, right leg up into tabletop, left leg up into tabletop. We're going to extend those legs up towards the ceiling and we're going to interlace our hands behind our head. From here, we are doing a combination of the two exercises we've just done. We are going to lower that left leg while that right leg comes up. But while we're doing that, we are lifting our head, neck and chest of the ground and rotating our opposite elbow to opposite knee and slowly rotating with those two pulses. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep the toes pointed. Let's do one more on each side after this one. One, and two, and slowly rolling, head, neck and chest back down, legs back into that tabletop position and hugging those knees towards your chest. Well done, everyone. The key there is to maintain that core activation while you're rotating and still keeping a good posture and leg extension, allowing a stretch down that hamstring. From here, we are slowly going to extend our arms onto the floor, extending our legs onto the floor. Core activated and tight, drawing the shoulders down that back. We are going to lift our legs into tabletop. Then we're going to extend them up towards the ceiling. Okay, core nice and tight, sucking that belly towards your spine, sucking in that pelvis. We are slowly going to inhale. And during that inhale, you're slowly going to drop your legs down towards the right, keeping those toes pointing towards the ceiling. Those of you who do struggle with tight hamstrings, you can bend your legs. And I also want you to, depending on how you feel, I'm going to keep my arms in T position just to make sure you can maintain good control and stability. So we are going to, on the exhale, round and rotate our legs in a circular motion back to center. We're going to do four on each side, making sure when you're rotating, you're stabilizing that pelvis. Inhale, drop towards the right. Exhale, rotate around back to center. And that's two. Exhale, rotate. That's three. And last one, keeping that core tight and back to center. We're going to change towards the left and inhale, drop towards the left. Exhale, rotate and around back to center. This is a slow controlled movement. I want you to make sure that you are maintaining good stability in that pelvis by activating those lower abdominals to make sure that you have a crisp and controlled movement. I've lost count. Let's do two more around and back to center. And last one around and back to center. And we're going to hug those knees towards our chest and we're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, from here, this is a new exercise. Please make sure if you do have any neck issues or upper back problems, please do not do this exercise. We are slowly going to lift our legs up into tabletop position. We're then going to lower our legs down and on the exhale we're slowly going to lift our legs up towards the ceiling and lift and allow our body to go into a rollover position pointing those toes towards the mat you're slowly going to keeping that leg straight you're going to lower yourself back down one vertebrae of a charm controlling your pelvis as you go, keeping that core tight. And once you get your feet pointing to the ceiling, you're going to do a circular motion back to center. Pointing those toes, you're going to inhale. We're going to do that two more times. And on the exhale, rolling yourself over, extending those knees, pointing those toes down and slowly controlling yourself back down one vertebra at a time.
and once you're in that neutral rounding those legs back to center well done everyone last time and we're going to inhale lower those legs exhale use that core to roll over towards the floor extending those legs pointing those toes towards the floor and contro controlling yourself back down one vertebra at a time using that core and back to center we're going to go get back into that rollover position to do our next movement we're going to inhale lower those legs exhale lift and roll your legs over towards the floor we're going to place your hands comfortably on your hips the back part of your pelvis and then you're slowly going to arch that pelvis slightly and lift your legs up towards the ceiling okay and from here we're going to cut and open our legs across into scissor motion two pulses and rotate and rotate and rotate keeping those legs straight as you can let's do one more on each side and back up and slowly lowering yourself back down and extending your legs and your arms you're going to inhale and on the exhale slowly lift arms up towards the ceiling lifting head neck and chest off the ground into a seat position we're going to turn over onto our sides well done those are two new fun movements they are ones that you do need to practice so if you do struggle with them it is okay you can just give yourself time give yourself grace and we'll get you there just keep practicing we're going to start on our sides we're going to do a little bit of a glute warm up before we move on to some new exciting sequences and variations on our sides we're going to start with our legs bottom leg bent top leg straight shoulders hips and knees all aligned and a slight forward rotation of that upper hip and you're going to point your toes towards the wall in front of you we're just going to do eight little pulsations up and down that's three and four i want you to feel that activation into that glute five and make sure you're not slumping into that shoulder six and seven and circles forward and one two three four five six and seven and eight and rotating backwards one and two three four core tight five six last little push seven and eight you're going to extend that leg up towards the ceiling and you're going to point those toes towards the wall next to you and you're bending and extending that's one two three keep going four five six seven and eight and slowly down we're going to bring our ankles in line with our hips you're going to lift and extend this right hand and you're going to tuck that top leg in front of that you're going to interlace your ankles but i want your top leg in front you're going to inhale and on the exhale just before we exhale and lift i want you to just make sure that that hand is pointing towards the wall next to you inhale and exhale lifting and extending and you're going to hold for five four three two one and slowly back down we're going to do that two more times inhale exhale lift and extend five four three two one and slowly back down and last one inhale exhale lift and extend for five four three two one slowly back down we're going to bend that elbow again we're going to bring our knees back in line with our hips having a crisp posture in that shoulder you're going to core keep that core tight we're going to lift those hips off the ground into a side plank position you're going to 
place the other hand comfortably behind your head or towards the ceiling. You're going to extend that other leg and you are going to lower that hip into a toe tap. And that's hip lower into toe tap. That's two, we're doing eight. And three, four, five, six, keep going, seven, keep pushing, and eight, and we're lifting that leg a little bit higher than hip height, and we're bending and extending, pointing that toe, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and slowly lowering down. We're going to turn over onto that other side, well done. Let's get those glutes fired up and warm. We're going to lie comfortably on our sides. We're going to make sure your shoulders comfortably are over your elbows and your hips, knees and shoulders are all aligned. You're going to lift and extend that upper leg, pointing those toes towards the wall in front of you. Slight forward rotation of that upper hip, placing your other hand on your glute and we're going to do our eight counts up and down. That's one and two, core tight, three, four, five, six, keep going, seven and eight and circles forward and one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and circles back, one, two, three, four, five, keep going, six, seven, you should be getting a nice burn in that glute and lifting that leg up, pointing that toe to the side wall and bending and extending, that's one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight, and slowly bringing that leg down. We're going to extend that arm. Remember to point those fingers towards that side wall. You are going to place that upper leg in the front and making sure those ankles are in line with those hips. You're going to inhale. And on the exhale, lift those hips up towards the ceiling and extending arm overhead and holding for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly back. Inhale, exhale, lifting and extending. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Back into that seated position. And last one, lifting up and reaching over and holding. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Back into that seated position. You're going to place that elbow on the floor. Legs aligned, hips, knees and shoulders all in line with each other, placing that other hand up towards the ceiling or behind your head. You're going to activate and lift yourself into a side plank position, extending your upper leg and pointing that toe. You're going to inhale, exhale, hip drop and toe tap. That's one and two, core tight, three, keep going, four, five, make sure that knee and ankle stay aligned when you drop that hip, and seven, and eight, and lifting, making sure you're not slumping into that shoulder, and bending and extending, that's one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and slowly coming back down and lying on your backs and stretching out those glutes. One last time, right ankle on left knee, hugging that knee towards your chest for 10, nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, and changing over and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly extending those legs onto the mat, lifting arms up into towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale, slowly 
rolling yourself up into a seated position. Well done, that was a lot of fun doing some new and exciting movements. I had a lot of fun trying them out and instructing them to you. I hope you enjoyed them. And if you did like that video, hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. And I'm really looking forward to helping you in the next video. See you soon.